Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to the NS9 post game show. I'm your host, Anthony DiNardo. With me, we do have somewhere lurking in the background, Tyler, aka Wagon of the Cutch. What's up, my man? How you doing? Apparently, I was eating, I was getting down to that music too hard that I nudged the camera. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> and I'm eating pepperoni, so that's the whole thing. Nice. What kind of pepperoni? I don't know. Whatever is cheap at the grocery store. You can't you can't go cheap on the pepperoni. I, I know. You just but can't. You can't. I know. It's just sliced pepperoni, nothing like major. Okay. I do love me a good like pepperoni stick. Yes. Yes. That's like I, I swear, you know, we go off topic here. Yeah. I swear that's like my favorite part of like Christmas is like the pepperoni and cheese and crackers. Oh yeah. <laughs> I take that for lunch a lot of days. <laughs> oh, for sure. And we're not talking about, you know, like the, the lunchable stuff. We're not talking about no Ohio Valley pizza type type things here, you know. No. Right. We're talking like a good slice of pepperoni, like real thick cut. Yes. Yes. A mm. good Ritz cracker. Yep. Some sort oh, of good cheese, maybe a little gouda. A, a cracker that looks just like what's on your hat right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Maybe a little gouda, maybe I, I don't know. A little moots. Right. Yeah, for sure. But anyways, Pirates post game show. Pirates do lose four to two tonight. Wasn't the best game, that's for sure. You know, last week was pretty fun. Sweeping the sweeping the Dodgers, right? Taking two out of three from Arizona. Um, not so fun as a late, right? Yeah, the Tigers. You have the Braves now. Um, I'll say this: the pitching has looked pretty decent. The offense just looks woeful. Tonight, about the same. Rowanzy day, right? Something to look yeah. forward to. Rowanzy, um, he goes 4.2, gives up three earned, four in total, strikes out seven, has the home run. Going against Strider, had five points. I thought, it was, scoreless, three, I thought it was three runs and two earned. Uh, no, three Are earned, sure? four total. Yeah. Are you Beating sure? Zero. Yes. I could have looked at it at the wrong point, but. You might have four (laughs) and three total. Okay. Yeah. I was in and out. I've been busy tonight. It's Friday night. You're welcome for jumping on. We're so busy. So gracious to have you. Yeah. In our presence here. Jim's watching Hamilton. So I'm going to be honest with you. I volunteered to jump on the night because it was Wednesday day. Yeah. I, don't care to watch tomorrow's shit show. <laughs> I get it. But let's this talk about the scenes here. Yeah. But like let's talk about him. Uh I mean he's he's looked fantastic ever since his call up. Originally gets demoted, comes back up, and now he's been the starter, and he's looked even more impressive as a starter. Now today you look at the numbers, four point two <laughs> innings. Well, that's a sexy base. Four point two innings doesn't really go that deep into the ball game. Has seven strikeouts. Uh, I mean, from what I was seeing, too, a lot of swing and miss stuff. A but lot. Three earned. Wasn't the best start, but yeah. pretty I mean, encouraging was, still. Yeah, I mean, he was very heavy strike early. And Sorry, my dog was very struggling to go up the steps. And I just heard the stumbles. Anyhow, <clears throat> early on, it was very heavy strike. I mean, he pounded the zone early. And... What are you going to, he gave up a home run to Dansby Swanson. He threw it 92 or 97 at the knees. He mm-hmm. turned on it, hit the foul ball. What are you going to do? Like it's baseball. That happens. Sometimes the hitter is better than the pitcher. Now, would I get on a, say, Bryce Wilson if he did the same thing? Yeah. Like I would trash him or a Kyle. His name's Kyle, right? Thompson. I can't remember. Zach. Zach. Yeah, him. <laughs> That guy. He looks That's like That's how cow. much I care about that guy. Would I get on them? Yeah. For giving up a home run. But they don't throw 97 at the knees. Like, yeah. it's going to happen every now and then. Danzley Swanson turned on one. What are you going to do? Like, he struck out seven in 4.2. Walked one. Threw strikes primarily. The off-speed stuff worked. It happens sometimes. Like, we don't need to get all bent out of shape. For God's sake, 
I would venture to guess at this point in Ronzi's career, he probably has put together the best. How many starts is this for him? Four tonight. Four. I think in my lifetime, Ronzi Contreras has put together the best four pirate starts in his debut that I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go back and, and fact check right now, but uh, he's at the top of your head. Uh, he's been fantastic. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. So, I mean, it's hard to argue I, what you're saying. Truthful. Garrett Cole, he went through struggles where he caught on late in his rookie year. Mm -hmm. Tyon struggled. The only other one I can think of really is Oliver Perez. <laughs> we're going way like, back. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's funny because we're going way back. You're jokingly but saying going way back. And he's, you know, he's still pitching 2022. Yeah, but there aren't many rookies that come out and have pitched as well as he has right and let's also talk about the fact that he's gone up against some really good matchups yeah absolutely so god damn it i'm trying to grab pepperoni <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i mean like tonight again you know it, the numbers you look at this like the box score right the numbers don't look great but to your credit it really was like that one pitch that changed everything. All right. And to be in a home run that changed the dynamic. And of course, so as good as he's pitching and I feel like every time he's in there pitching, the offense is the opposite. He looks great. Offense looks absolutely terrible. Gets zero run support again. So, and again, like, it was four runs in total. He gave up three earned, uh, you, you know, at least could have gave him two runs and maybe the tied game right now, but uh, regardless, no run support, but yeah, like he was looking really good. That's that's a pitch. So like, think about last night's. Was it last night? I think it was last night. The uh, the O'Neill Cruz home run, right? Like that's a pitch you don't hit, and he goes yard on it. And like with Dancy Swanson, it's kind of like the same thing. It's like you know what? You got to sometimes just give credit to the batter. He that was that was good. That was good at bat. Yeah. He got a home run. It is what it is. But overall, you look at the the outing. It was a really good outing. I mean, Ronzi Contreras is every bit as advertised. I mean, just if not more just grows on you further and further. You know, again, like thinking about that Tyone deal, he was kind of like the, just the guy, right? Wasn't like the headliner. It was like just one of the guys. And he's just, since then, just, I just keep rising and rising and rising. So no, I, <clears throat> I can't be mad about it. I, he gave up three earned, should have made it through five. It is what it is. Like this, we're in a different era. We're not going out there and tossing, seven innings giving up two runs guys don't do that much anymore and especially with romansy right yeah. we know we're going to be extra cautious with him he hasn't thrown a ton of innings so far so mm -hmm. we're going to be limited this year so right i'm not i'm not worried that he went 4.2 in tonight's game uh but i mean again like his stuff his slider just killing people so we had 10 swing of it 50 whiff rate on his slider 10 swing and misses. And I mean, it's not like that was the only thing. Everything. I mean, he was, like you said, missing bats, but the slider was just crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> what did, he threw? What maybe 85 tonight? 85 pitches? 83. Yep. 83. So, I mean, we look in the next year. If this happens again, he could probably, he'll give you another inning. He can. It's just right now, they probably made the right decision. Yeah. You know, at the point they did. In a season that doesn't matter. And it yeah. doesn't, right? We're honest with ourselves. It doesn't matter. Uh, and it's season that he's coming off injuries and, again, limited innings. I mean, you want to baby him a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's your prized possession. And, again, like tonight and all the previous starts kind of show that. Yeah, he, He's a top of the lineup or top of the rotation type of pitcher. Now, is he an ace? Is he a two? Whatever it is, I don't know. All I care about is he a good quality arm and he fits that. So yeah. what's going to matter is going forward. And, and I just bring this up again because I know some people have talked, even Jim, a little bit. Like, it's disappointing. It only goes five. It just is what it is right now this year. I'm okay with that. Let's get him to a point where next year he's giving you close to 200 innings. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he's ever going to get to that 200 mark. I said close. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I just I have a gut feeling he's going to be a guy that's maybe in the 170 range. And that's fair. It, it, <laughs> I also just have durability concerns with him, but I mean, yeah. I mean, if he gives you 170, he gives you 170. If he gives you 170 at the 
place that he can pitch because he pitches very well when he's out there. I'll gladly take that. For sure. I mean, if they're 170, very good quality innings, take that every day, especially in this new age of baseball. Yeah, 170 is a new 200. Yeah, yeah, really. I mean, it kind of is right now. Mm -hmm. Um, Could he build up to 200? Probably, but that's going to take some time because we're at a weird spot in baseball. I mean, the the guy didn't really throw in 2020 and they had arm issues last year. And like, we're in a weird spot right now. Yep. Almost as weird as how poorly this team can hit a baseball. <laughs> is that really weird? It's kind of no, almost expected no, right now. It's, it is. They're, they're bad. They can't hit. Yeah. Yeah. So again, like as poorly as, I should say poorly, my bad. As good as Rome as he pitched tonight, this offense was pretty poor. I mean, it came on came on later. It showed a little bit of life at the end of the game, but again, just very woeful. I mean, they weren't doing anything. Maybe a hit here and there, but they weren't collecting hits. They just, just offensively just challenged, and they've been for like the past week. They just don't have the ability to hit the ball over the wall. And they don't walk enough. They strike out so much in an era that we're beyond that strikeout home run era. They don't hit the ball over the ball. They strike out too much. They don't walk enough. They're just not a bunch of good hitters. <laughs> like, so, really, that's what it comes down. They're not a good hitting baseball team. They don't have players that can't hit. Yeah. Well, 13 strikeouts tonight, and I believe it was 13 last night as well. We talked. So, uh, certainly. <laughs> missing a lot of baseballs. Yeah, and when you don't have pop in your bat, it's going to happen. Like, you're going to not score runs. And, of course, they keep the one guy out of the lineup that has put the ball over the wall. But <laughs> I know you're disappointed. Our boy Sawinski had the day off. I mean, I'll, I'll give him this. I'm okay with it, but... I'm okay with it for all the reasons we've talked, right? That how are you going to get at bats spread around with that outfield right now? Swinsky has pretty much played every single day. So you know what? He gets a day off today. It's whatever. No, I'm not complaining about it. Um, but obviously the lineup missed the bat. Oh, yeah. It sounded weird when it came out of your mouth. <laughs> His bat, the bat, whatever. You know who yeah. else has a really good bat? Who's that? We're not going to get into it, but Ono Cruz has a really good bat. So I'm just saying, you know, like if he was in this lineup, things could be different as well. And I'm only going to bring this up as we bring it up every time that, you know, at least we know we're one day closer to when he is. There was a lot of talk today about Ono Cruz and what they're doing with him. We know the time's nearing at least. So as well for this offense has been, Maybe there's a glimmer of hope coming that it's not going to be great. But tonight, when you might need a ball to go over the fence, he might be able to provide that. Yeah. And yeah, we don't, <laughs> we've been through this song and dance so many times. We're not going to go too deep in it. It's just, it's, it's coming. It's coming closer. Like, yeah. So, Swaggerty. yeah, I was just going to say, Swagger gets another start left field. Look bad. Yeah. What's your what's your overall take on Swaggery so far? I'm a bit concerned with the bat speed. He can't catch it to to a high fastball to save his life. At least right now. I mean, he it could be an approach thing. He could just, you know, his first. Really, we're looking at a guy that did not play baseball last year. Did not really play baseball. He didn't play baseball at all the year before. So that's fair. He, it was like basically two years off. And this last one also, too, like coming off of a pretty serious injury. Yeah. And he's certainly behind the curve, but the swing and miss, the high stuff, it's not really impressive. High stuff is a bit concerning. Uh, but in the approach that, He's really been touted for his whole way up, not really 
being there through it's it's been what three games of him yeah. being in the lineup. So yeah, overreaction season. This is what it is. <laughs> right, right. The swing and miss that he's shown so far is that it's a hair concerning. Uh, we saw it. I mean, we saw it with Sawinski when he first mm-hmm. came up, and he actually has played baseball last year. So it 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 puts you on alert, but you also have to tap the brakes there. And that's absolutely fair. So, like, like one thing I want to say to his credit in these three games that he's played, he's faced some tough pitching. Now, mind you, Strider's a rookie. Like, it's not like he's a vet who's really good, but he is pitching really good. You know, I mean, he's a very strong rookie of the year candidate if he continues this. And he's got kind of a late start. A lot of his outings were in the bullpen. Now he's in the rotation. Um, but he's looked every bit of a really good pitcher. I mean, he had Max Freed yesterday, and then it was um, – Oh, God, who is it for the Tigers that he faced? Oh, Faye, uh, did he face Fayetto? No. I thought he did. I, know, I, thought he had, I thought he saw a lefty, but I can't remember. Um, no, he didn't get up here in time for that. Anyways, he had yeah. some tough matchups for his first time in the majors, right? So, like, I'll give him credit for that in that aspect. But what I will say on the other side of it, you use the example of Sawinski and, and right, like the results weren't there. And like, I get that. But like, I think the difference uh, is Sawinski looked comfortable with the plate. You know, like the results weren't there, but he didn't look like he didn't belong. And I'm not saying that like Swire, he looks like he doesn't belong here or whatnot. But to me, it's, I don't feel as confident right now as I did in Sawinski. Like, hmm, you know what? Like the results aren't there, but he looks kind of good to a degree. I'm not feeling that way with, with Swaggery. Not to say in game four, he makes us all look silly and he's, he's you know doing some things and kicks up from here. But yeah, so far, that's kind of like my take on Swaggery. He looks a little lost in the plate and not, not that comfortable. Scooble. Yes. That's right. Yes. Who has like a two-something ERM. He's having a great year this year for the Tigers. So uh, yeah, I mean, he's faced some tough pitching. Not to mention, like, he's facing lefties as well a good bit. Mm-hmm. He's he's not going to show up and rake lefties. He's not Michael Chavis. Chavis, sorry. It's, it's right, Chavis. <laughs> <laughs> like, throwing him up here going, you know, lefty on lefty is a little tough. Yeah. Yep. But, and and Connor says I mean, that. I mean, that's really what it was. Like Swinsky has Swinsky was still working counts and having quality at bats, even when he was still struggling a little bit. Uh and that's where I, I absolutely agree. I mean, that was like kind of like the running joke I had like in the group chat. I was like, you know, it with Swinsky up, it's a full count every time. Now he was, like I said, getting out, but he was going full count. I mean, he looked really good. And he's still doing that. And now he's, you know, again, the results are coming. But um, yeah, like with with Swaggy, I'm not really seeing that out of him. I don't feel like, okay, the results aren't there, but he looks good. He kind of looks like this is why the results aren't there. He doesn't look good. Yeah. Let's be honest. He should not have a hit right now. Well, yeah. Yeah. But he does. Like he said, a single's a single. We'll take it. I guess. It counts. Good for him. But um, yeah. So Swaggy again tonight. Goes over his only hit on the year so far is that it probably single. should have been an error. <laughs> um, but let's move down. So Hayes goes over four, three strikeouts tonight. Not your typical Cabrian Hayes outing. But Brian Reynolds continues his little stretch of hits. He goes two for four tonight. I mean, we saw, we talked about last night how. It's not as if the hits were like really legit, <laughs> right? But they fell for him. And does that maybe kick something up? And again, he has another multi-hit game today. So it's good to see Brian Reynolds maybe, maybe finding some offense once again. I mean, you hope so. His, <clears throat> his peripherals aren't bad. Like you'd like to see him hit the ball harder, but 
the I think everything the water's come to its level at this point with him. He hasn't been great this year. And I mean, we're beyond the point of it being a small sample size. We're almost a third of the year in. So I think we'll probably end up at the end of the year with a slightly above average Brian Reynolds, like maybe like a 115 way to run screen plus, maybe. And yeah. we're going to be disappointed in that, which is going to kill that trade value. But you know what it's going to do? It's going to help out on that extension value. No, it's going <laughs> to help out on that arbitration value, which is the most well, important again, part. And the which leads into the extension, right? I mean, I hey, guess right, right. It's you're not as valuable as you once were. The money's not going to be as top dollar. Maybe you should sign this extension. Yeah. Uh, if that's still what I you're really trying same. to do, and I hate this organization so much. Why do I talk about them? <laughs> because it's Friday night, and you apparently have nothing better to do. It's Friday night at eleven o'clock, and I am talking about Travis Swaggerty, Jack Sawinski, Brian Reynolds, and Cabrian Hayes. I'm not this lame people. Uh, yeah, kind of. Eating some lame ass pepperoni. So, yeah, well, that's just because I didn't go home after work and I went to the bar. Right. But, anyways, um, so again, like there was some life late into the game. Um, I'm trying to remember who it all was. Oh, yeah. Michael Chavis. So, so Chavis, Michael Chavis, right? He comes up big, RBI. So, so again, it starts off not with Reynolds off getting lefty. on. True, true. But it starts out with Brian Reynolds getting on. And then Daniel Vogelbach, who we talked, he's been kind of cool lately. He gets a, a pretty clutch hit. Brian Reynolds, pretty aggressive on the bases. You thought he probably should have stopped at second. He keeps going. Not the greatest throw from Acuna. Uh, gets on third base. Bucks on the corner. One out. Tyler, we've seen this rodeo before. Michael Chavez is up. A righty's pitching. Probably going to be a double play, right? <laughs> if not a strikeout. And then outs come, right? Chavez turns on it. He he gets a uh, an RBI, a, a, a RBI double, right? It's a ground rule double. Bounced over. So now it's four to one. Two guys are on. Cal Mitchell's up. Still one out. Cal Mitchell doesn't get all of it, goes to the right field. We have the speedster, Daniel Vogelbach, just easily gets in scores from, from third to home, right? Stand up. I mean, just a blazer. <laughs> so that was four to two. Things are happening, right? Not so much. Don't expect that much out of the offense. Four to two, that's where it caps off. Pirates lose. Got our hopes up as usual. But, hey, again, like that's the theme of this this team, I mean, they're not good, but they certainly fight. They battle, right? Yeah. I mean, the big thing is it's a really good piece of hitting by Cal Mitchell. We haven't seen great situational hitting. You know, one out, guys on second and third. We've seen a lot of strikeouts there, even from the top guys. We saw it from Cabrian Hayes a lot. We've seen it from Reynolds. Especially Reynolds. A lot from Reynolds. It's a good job of not trying to do too much. You have one job, put the ball in the air there, get a run. Maybe not the spot. I mean, actually, it's probably a really good piece of hitting because he's trying to pull the baseball in the air there, possibly tie the game up. So it's actually, the more I think about it, a really good approach from him. Mm -hmm. At the very least, he did a he did a job. And he got to run home. And these, at least from what I saw, it looked like he was trying to tie the game up late when at some points in the game you don't want that, but he did the correct thing, it looks like. Yep. Yeah, so, I mean, again, Cal Mitchell, still kind of easy, or easy, early, yeah. early vibes from him, right? But, um... I don't know. Like, what do you what do you think about Mitchell? The more you see him, 
He looks like he knows how to play the game of baseball. I don't know if I could say that about a lot of guys that are on this team. Like it's yeah. very frustrating when there are less than two outs and a runner's on third and we have to watch these guys strike out. Literally just throw the bat out there. Score a run. This is not rocket science. Just poke the ball somewhere. I know it's hard to hit a major league pitcher. You're a major league hitter. Stick the bat out like I would do against Kyle Hendricks. Just poke it. Take him deep. Tyler was just a little poke taking Kyle Hendricks deep. But it, it really is an issue with this team where they are still in the point where we're trying to hit three run home runs where you can just score a run. And in that situation, be honest, there's not many guys in this team that there's not can do that. And it could just be that they're terrible and they're just trying to put the ball in play as best they can. Cause there are a lot of very bad baseball players on this team, but just stick the bat out there. Score a run, please. We got runners on like Cabrian Hayes and Brian Reynolds are going to be on a good bit. They should score a lot more often than they do. Right. And this is a lot towards Brian Reynolds. He's trying to do too much. Just score the run, dude. That's just a side tangent of bad baseball we've seen. Yeah. And it's, it's going to happen. It's going to continue to happen. Um, well, let's let's wrap this up on the multi hit players tonight. So we talk about Reynolds; he's got two hits. Chavis, of course, got two hits. The, the people that are watching this that are new, like these guys are idiots. Call him Chavis. It's kind of like a little joke we have going on right now. We know it's Chavis, but on the show going forward, at least Tyler and I, it's officially Chavis. Oh, it's Chavis. <laughs> and uh, hey, Marcano multi hit game as well. And again, as much as we are still leery on Marcano, like how legit is this? Like his entire body of work, the way we felt on him as a prospect and such, he's, he's performing. You want to know my Marcano? I know your Marcano. Thought tonight. What's, no, what's your I thought tonight? Him the next time I'm stealing a base against Pirates and Marcano's covering it, he's getting a cleat right in the calf. Now, granted, it worked. It worked. I'm, it was I'm going to cleat the living <laughs> crap out of him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he blocked that entire bag. <laughs> this oh, entire yeah, leg. <laughs> it's ballsy, but guess what? Next time, I'm going to sharpen these spikes and tie cob you. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, that might change rather quickly what he did. But again, oh, yeah. it, it, it worked. And it was Acuna, and he had... What eleven so he was eleventh for thirteen on the year, so I think that made him. 11, oh, he was safe by a mile because Michael Perez is awful. Oh yeah, he was, but he just like physically couldn't touch the bag. Yeah, <laughs> Mark like, had a moat around it. Oh yeah, I would one thousand percent. I'm sliding feet first right into that calf. Yeah, that, that was fun. stab. We're I appreciated it. Stab. But like you say, it's one of those things where he's going to regret it later, most likely. Oh yeah, he's going to wear one for that one. It's not a right. big, It's going to be a sharp spike. Yeah. But again, two for four, no strikeouts. Still small sample. It's early, but he's performing a lot better than I ever would have anticipated. Sure. I, mean, I would have. Like, I would have been like oh for everything the last like since the last time we talked about him. Yeah, I mean it's fair. But he didn't have that many at bats since the last time we talked about him either. Yeah, but the numbers have dropped. They have a good bit. I'm my still my eyes are still peeled open for him. He was he he caught fire in Altoona before he got called up, and and again he's still. I envision him having more of the swaggery path. Let's be honest, right? These first three games that swaggery has had. If that was Marcano, I would have said, "What did you expect?" So I, I was, yeah. I'm giving him that. He's another multi-hit game tonight. And, of course, he, he can play defense. Like That's also positive. He looks yeah. good enough in the outfield. Uh, but the offense, really, like I said, it's it's been much better than I ever would have anticipated. Yeah, I mean, he's hitting-ish right now. Sure. I 
still think he kind of stinks. Just hitting Ish is like the best player on the team right now. So Yeah, that's fair. All right. So we'll pretty much wrap this up, but I guess I just want to say one thing too. Tyler Beatty, he did his job tonight. That was another that was another pickup yeah. that I just went crazy with. Oh, you not, did not to the level of like, you know, what's going on and just like yeah, berating everything, but it was just like what what's what are we doing like, here? Why? Yeah, that's like, another one that was just why? just why. I don't get it. But so far he's done his job. Tonight, two one point one innings, just two hits, one walk, but of course no strikeouts. Yeah. There's another Tyler. I watched it a lot, and it wasn't myself. Tyler Yates. I don't we Tyler watch enough. Yates. Look at the sprain throwing it back. What? But yeah, um, I don't care about a reliever having a <clears throat> okay appearance once every two weeks. He's <laughs> not good. There you go. Connor, professional innings eater, Tyler Beatty. I think that's, that's what his value very, is on this team. I think that's being very polite. But that's where his value, I guess, comes on the team. He's going to eat innings. I and guess, if he gives you quality innings, then that's just the plus. I guess it depends on what you consider quality. Well, no no runs tonight's a quality, <laughs> quality outing. I mean, him. I guess, but it wasn't good. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, he, my my expectations for him is we know this team's going to need innings, right. and he can eat them. I guess, but like when I think quality innings, I think of like Jen Mar Gomez. Yeah, but that was not a good team. So you need yeah. your, the value is both. You need quality and quantity. This team I, needs quantity. Yeah, I mean, like just sign guys. Hey, we're going to blow your arm out. Let's go. <laughs> Might as well be yours, BD. Let's go throw like 98, not strike anyone out, and throw 100 pitches in two innings. Come on, right. we'll have fun. So, yeah, so that's that. So, again, not the greatest game. Wasn't that exciting. So much for that comment about half Tyler day. being positive. That's over. There was some there was some positivity. Yeah. There was some of it here. We had a lot of sure, oh, Romans you talk. Fine. Yeah. But, right, so, again, tonight, um, this is one of those Pirates games, right? Not too much interesting. It was kind of boring until that half inning where they made things interesting and then stop because the offense just is not – good enough but regardless we'll wrap this up the pirates do of course play tomorrow again in atlanta zach thompson or as your boy uh kyle, kyle thompson will face our friend charlie morton so hmm. let's Old see chess, what happens man. there there you go but hey when you're talking about who i mean who has the era numbers right now zach thompson's going to the start with a 4.6 era charlie Morton's a 5.6 so, bring back that sinker ball, Chasmo. <laughs> what's your uh, what's your prediction? If I were to tell you tonight, what's your prediction? Who has hey. the better outing? Zach oh, it's going to be Charlie Morton. Morton. One hundred percent, Charlie Morton. One hundred. Oh yeah. All right. We'll wrap it with that. So, with that said, let's get out of here. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Peace out for Scouts.